about the bridge in the San Francisco Bay that is being done with Chinese steel. So you, you need three things. You need, you need a bank charter. You need it to have private capital be part of its capital structure. Right. Okay. It has to be a leveraged institution so that it's a moment. It has to be of, of size. And it has to be accompanied with what every other nation in the G20 has but ourselves, which is by domestic. You can't repair government infrastructure, whether it be the bridges here in New York, the bridge at bridge in Minneapolis, or the one in San Francisco, and then do it with Chinese right. steel. We don't have uniquely and I say that uniquely among the G20, we don't have our own manufacturing policy. Right. If there was a policy, then the small and medium-sized enterprises here in this country would have found sustenance from the banks. But we, in fact, had financial reform, mm -hmm. and we gave nothing to the small and medium-sized enterprises, lending down 25%. Right. Is this an ugly chart, folks? We've shown it before. It's a long-term view. The dearth of national savings. This is combined savings. It is. This overlays this debt ceiling debate. When you take our deficit, when you take good corporate savings, when you take okay private savings, we're now way below zero. We've come back a little bit, but we've got a long way to go to be like Germany, to be like Switzerland and other nations. Well, the, let's take the German example, Tom. Germany has around 24% of its employees in manufacturing. We have 8 to 9%. I like that number. And you can't survive with a number of 8 or 9% in manufacturing without living from credit bubble to credit bubble. When, when, the, when the service sectors are disproportionately large, economies sustain only with credit bubbles. Mm -hmm. So the, the chart that we saw a moment ago, which is this, you called it the dearth of savings. Of course there's a dearth of savings. There's 18.5% eight, real unemployment. It's 9.2% official, right. but it's 185 real.